Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into essential art tips and tricks every beginner painter should know. Learning to paint is like exploring a new world, filled with vibrant colors and endless possibilities. So let's grab our brushes and unleash our inner artists together. Just like a carpenter needs sturdy tools, a painter needs reliable brushes. Investing in a few good quality brushes can make a world of difference in your painting experience. A good brush will hold its shape, allowing for greater control and precision. You'll notice the difference in the way the paint flows, how smoothly it blends, and the details you can achieve. Think of it this way. A cheap brush might lose its bristles, leaving those pesky hairs right in the middle of your masterpiece. Not exactly the happy little accident we're going for. A quality brush, on the other hand, will become an extension of your hand, allowing you to truly express yourself on canvas. There are many types of brushes out there, each with its own personality and purpose. Don't be afraid to experiment and find the ones that feel most comfortable in your hand. Remember, painting should be a joyful experience, and having the right tools can make all the difference. So treat yourself to some good brushes. You deserve it, and your paintings will thank you for it. Now let's talk about color. Oh, the magic of color! It has the power to evoke emotions, create depth and dimension, and bring your paintings to life. But sometimes, choosing and mixing colors can feel a bit overwhelming. That's where color theory comes in. Think of color theory as a friendly guide to understanding how colors interact with each other. Knowing a little bit about color theory can help you create more harmonious and visually appealing paintings. It's like having a secret recipe for mixing the perfect hues. You'll learn how to create contrast, balance and mood just by understanding the relationships between different colors. So don't be afraid to delve into the world of color theory. It's a fascinating subject that can greatly enhance your artistic journey. Before we even think about dipping our brushes into those luscious paints, let's talk about sketching. Now, I know some folks might think sketching is just an extra step, but trust me, it's an incredibly valuable one. Sketching is like creating a roadmap for your painting. It helps you plan your composition, figure out the placement of objects, and work out any kinks before you commit to paint. It's like a little warm-up for your artistic muscles. Even a few minutes of sketching can make a huge difference in the overall success of your painting. So, grab your favorite sketching tools, whether it's a pencil, charcoal, or even a digital pen, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. Remember, sketching is all about exploration and finding your artistic voice. The world of painting is like a giant box of crayons, filled with endless possibilities and a rainbow of mediums to explore. Each medium has its own unique personality, texture, and drying time, offering a different painting experience. You've got your acrylics, those versatile and fast-drying paints that clean up with water. Then there are oils, those rich and buttery paints that blend like a dream and offer incredible depth of color. And let's not forget about watercolors, those delicate and translucent paints that dance across the paper, creating ethereal washes of color. The best way to find your perfect match is to experiment with different mediums and see which one speaks to your artistic soul. Don't be afraid to try them all, mix and match, and discover your own unique style. Happy painting! Now, let's talk about something near and dear to my heart. Keeping your palette organized. Think of your palette as your artist's sanctuary, a place where colors come together in perfect harmony. When your palette is cluttered and chaotic, it can be difficult to find the colors you need, leading to frustration and muddy mixtures. 
but when your palate is neat and tidy, it's like having a clear mind and a calm spirit. You can easily see all your colors, mix them with precision, and maintain the purity of your hues. Some artists prefer to arrange their colors according to the color wheel, while others like to group them by warm and cool tones. The most important thing is to find a system that works for you and stick with it. You'll be amazed at how such a small act can make a big difference in your creative flow. Sometimes having too many choices can be a bit overwhelming, don't you think? Especially when it comes to colors. That's why I often recommend starting with a limited color palette. By restricting yourself to a few carefully chosen colors, you can really focus on understanding color mixing and creating harmonious artworks. Think of it like cooking a delicious meal. You don't need every spice in the world to create something flavorful and satisfying. When you work with a limited palette, you force yourself to really look at the colors you have and figure out how to mix them to create the hues you need. So, next time you're feeling adventurous, try limiting your palette to just three or four colors. You might be surprised at what you can create with just a handful of hues. Color mixing is where the real magic happens. It's like alchemy, transforming simple tubes of paint into an infinite spectrum of hues and shades. The key to successful color mixing is to start slowly and experiment. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and try different combinations. Remember, there are no mistakes, only happy accidents. One of the most important things to remember is that a little goes a long way. Start by adding small amounts of one color to another, mixing thoroughly until you achieve the desired shade. Another helpful tip is to use a palette knife instead of your brush for mixing colors. This helps to keep your colors clean and prevents contamination from previous mixtures. And don't forget about the power of white and black. Adding white to a color creates a lighter tint, while adding black creates a darker shade. Now, let's talk about something we all experience on our artistic journey mistakes. Yes, those little, or sometimes not so little, blunders that can make us want to throw in the towel. But here's the thing about mistakes. They're not failures. They're opportunities for growth and learning. In fact, some of the most beautiful and unexpected things can happen when we embrace our mistakes. The important thing is to not let mistakes discourage you. Learn from them experiment with ways to fix them, or even incorporate them into your artwork. Remember, there's no right or wrong way to paint. It's all about expressing yourself and having fun. When you're lost in the flow of creating, it's easy to get so caught up in your work that you forget to take care of yourself. But just like any activity, Taking regular breaks is essential for both your physical and mental well-being. Stepping away from your easel for a few minutes can actually help you see your work with fresh eyes. When you're too close to a painting, it's easy to get bogged down in the details and lose sight of the bigger picture. So, set a timer for yourself and make it a habit to take regular breaks. Get up, stretch, move around, have a cup of tea, or simply step outside and enjoy some fresh air. Your body and mind will thank you for it. One of the best ways to grow as an artist is to surround yourself with beauty and inspiration. And what better way to do that than to study the works of master artists? Think of it like this. The great masters of art were once beginners too. By studying their techniques, compositions, and use of color, we can gain valuable insights and inspiration for our own artistic journeys. Visit museums, browse art books, or simply spend some time online exploring the works of artists you admire.
Pay attention to how they use light and shadow, how they create depth and dimension, and how they evoke emotions through their brush strokes. It's not about copying their style, but rather about understanding their thought process and applying those principles to your own unique vision. Thanks for watching. We hope these tips help you on your painting journey. Remember, the most important thing is to have fun, embrace your creativity, and never stop exploring the wonderful world of art. So grab your brushes, unleash your inner artist, and let's create some beautiful things together.